Bro, my I need a haircut, bro. Can't wait till I get one though. Come back because you don't have a hairline. <laughs> what? I have a hairline. I'm not got edges. Is that even your hair? Just leave me alone. <laughs> And all I need is cash up in the bank and some gas up in the tank And I'm rolling around the city like I made it yeah. Me and all my homies do the same thing We ain't smoking dang, but I'm rolling around the city like I'm bad And this is all I need This is all I need yeah, 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 This is all I need Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the start of a new vlog. It's March 16th, and guess who I'm with today? Hi! It's Susie Q! I know you guys haven't seen her in a minute. I haven't seen her in a minute either because of schedule conflicts, but we're here together today and we're going to have a little girl stay out, and I'm going to take you with me, so stay tuned. Alright, guys, so our first plan for today kind of went like off. We weren't fail. able to do that. Yeah, it was a bit of a fail. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys when we get to do that in another vlog. Right now we're about to go to Ulta and believe it or not, just because of where I live, I have never been to an Ulta before because there's none close to where I live. I've just never been to an Ulta. So we're going to Ulta today for the first time. She is. Well, me, Susan has been, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, I think it's Patricia. Mm -hmm. Patricia. So yeah, guys. That's where I'm gonna be going to. And we're also gonna go to Nordstrom Rack. And we also are gonna go to Marshall's. We actually went to a Marshall's before and I got some goodies that I wanna show you guys. But anyway, let me get out and walk into this store. As you can see, Ulta Beauty. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be lit. It's okay, Susie. We're just looking at the makeup. That's her favorite. She when she touched that ABH highlight, she never went back. She she didn't know what she was missing in life. Right? It's like now I can't use this generic brand. <laughs> Literally a kid in the candy store because huh? Can I have the label these products in your description box? <laughs> like Ulta. You're so, <laughs> you're so silly. I'm looking for the drugstore section. But I feel like a kid in the candy store, guys. I was like, ooh, Tarte Shape Date Concealer. Ooh, I want to get the books of lip gloss and Hot Toddy, which they don't have, but I really want that. Oh, they start this? selling. I have this palette. This is the Carly Bible nice. palette. Is it eyeshadows? Guys, what? Look at, look at Bubby. Bubby's beauty. But when did they start selling VH Cosmetics in the Ulta? <laughs> I completely missed that fall. Oh my gosh. I forgot how much are these. Buy one, get one. No, buy two, get three. Uh, Regular $20.99 under. <laughs> but this is what I really came for, guys. The next section. This is what I really came for. Yes. This, this is what I really came for, Susie. Awesome. The next lingerie lipsticks. What's so special about that? So what's Mind going you, on here, L'Oreal? Not L'Oreal. This is makeup. Oh, I thought it was L'Oreal. We walked away from L'Oreal. Guys, I really like this. Look how look how it looks on my hands. Look at this. This is so pretty. She likes this. Beautiful. And this is what I have so far. Don't mind me. How much are you selling these things for? Guys, I'm, I'm so weird. I just was like, they have the sweet peach palette here. And is then I good? smelt it. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing you that. And I was like, oh, it really does smell like peaches. I think I was going to get you that one. Sweet peach palette. It doesn't smell anything. Smell it. It smells like a whole bunch of things together, like you're in Bath and Body Works. <laughs> yeah, I don't smell Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a quick haul for you guys in this vlog of what I got when I was out with Susan and also some things, well, beauty related items that I got from Walmart today. So I'm going to start, if you guys don't want to see that, I'll put down here the time where you can skip ahead to the next part of the vlog, but let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Marshall's and I don't know if you guys know, but Marshall's has been having like a lot of 
I guess regular store items and even some like high-end items Marshalls and TJ Maxx have things like that for cheaper than usual if you guys heard about the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills like contour palettes you guys know that I got one if you follow me on my snapchat and if you don't I'll leave them right here my social media names so you guys can follow me because that's basically where I show you guys a lot of stuff you guys see first looks and all those kind of things. So I'm going to show you guys my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. I didn't get it during this trip. I got it a few months ago, but I haven't used it yet on my channel because it looks so pretty. And this is how it looks. And this is the dark kit. When I purchased this a few months ago, I got it for $19.99. So yeah, you could get this. Check and see if it's still in your area. But I'm going to show you what I got in this trip and the first thing I got was this exfoliating body pad this is what I used to exfoliate my body in the shower instead of like a body scrub because I can't use like sugar scrubs and stuff in the shower next I got me another of my L'Oreal voluminous Miss Manga mascara this is the bomb it will make your bottom lashes look like little spider legs <laughs> Lastly, what I really came in here for, which is why I told you guys about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, is because they had Real Techniques products in like Marshalls. When I went, I couldn't find anything. Then Susan Snapchatted me, or did she text me? I can't remember, and told me that, <laughs> look at what she got. And she got some Real Technique brushes. And I was like, girl, where did you go? Because where I went, I couldn't find none. And lo and behold, the next day is when we actually went out together. Guess what guys? She took me to the Marshalls that she went to and I found some real Technique brushes. This one is the Core Collection Kit. And this is the one that she has sent me a picture of. This one is the starter set. I only have one. Let's let this focus. I only have one Real Technique brush to be honest with you. It's the foundation brush and this is a really good brush but they're like so expensive. Usually like the powder brush and stuff like that be like $16.99 and I don't have time for that to be paying for that much for a brush from the drugstore. And then I have the um I can't even show it to you now because it's dirty because I used it for this look. But I have the, you know, the beauty sponge. Next we went to Nordstrom Rack. I only have been to Nordstrom Rack once before that. And that was probably like a year ago. And a few of the items that I used like from my YouTube videos I actually got from there. And I actually got another one of these setting sprays that I wanted. And then I actually decided to pick up the dewy one as well. Because I never tried it before, so I thought this would be perfect for like summer videos, summer tutorials when you want that fresh glowing face, honey. And then I got another primer potion, my big Urban Decay primer potion that I use. I actually got from Nordstrom Rack for $10, which is really good. And I actually found this Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Potion that is basically like the same size, like the big one that I have. And then the last two products that I got also are Urban Decay. I got an Urban Decay Eyeliner. I got a liquid eyeliner and a pencil eyeliner. You guys know that I have the pencil liner in Perversion and I love that one. And so I actually got another pencil liner. But that pencil liner or the new pencil liner that I got is, it's like the crayon pencil. That's what they call them. Here is how it looks. It's so black and so pretty. At first, girl, at first I thought it wasn't working. When I came home and I tried it out, I was like, oh, and when it's a little bit too far away to be going back to return this. It's so black, so pretty. It glides on so nice. Waterproof eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. It's all right. It's all right. They were both just $5. So I wasn't like too mad. I wasn't like too pressed about anything. But the eyeliner is just, it's okay. To me, it's like really watery. I don't know. It's really watery. You see how it's like, it's not that black. Well, isn't my puff popping doll? Puff is popping. Yes, hair laid. Okay, and now the last place that I went to, it's not like the last place I went to because I went to other places with Susan, but this is the last place that I actually got products from with her because Honey Child, your girl was on a budget. She wasn't spending out all her money today. I went to some place for the first time, as you guys know. <laughs> I'm so lame. <laughs> well, I went to Ulta. I went to Ulta for the first time 
with Susan and I know it's funny because like I'm into makeup and stuff right and I've been into makeup for a good minute but I just had never went to Ulta. I guess people around me hadn't like talked about Ulta like that and there was no Ulta near me so your girl just never went to Ulta before. There's our first for everything. <laughs> anyway, I got some goodies here, honey. There's one thing that I didn't get, but I'm glad that they didn't charge me for it because at first I was pressed because I thought they charged me for it and then the boy didn't put it in my bag and I was about to be highly aggravated. But that was not the case. I didn't get charged for it, but it just never got rung up. I don't know. I think it rolled off the counter from Ulta. I got these two eyeliners. Actually, one of them is a lip liner, but I'm going to use it for an eyeliner anyway because I thought it was an eyeliner. And this is one of the products that rolled off, I think, or the dude didn't ring up because I actually got a gold one. That one's missing. This nude one and this white one. And I wanted the gold one because my ColourPop Get Paid pencil is like ending. And for some reason, those pencils, when they're nearing the end, they like break off it's weird so i didn't know if i wanted to repurchase another one but it's such a pretty color i love it so i was like okay let me just find another place to get an eyeliner similar to that because you guys know like i'm wearing get paid right now in my waterline i love to wear light neutral colors in my waterline to open up and brighten my eyes i feel like always wearing black it's like too it's too deep for me like i got a white one for that same purpose just because it would be easier to use this and using like my jumbo pencil in my eyes it just that just makes it really messy and you want to be careful when you're working with white and then like I said I'm going to use this little nude mauve one it's called vanilla sky it's supposed to be a lip liner but I'm going to use it as an eyeliner then I got me another butter gloss in Madeline you guys know I use this all the time I really wanted ginger snap as well but it was sold out they didn't have any more so i'm just gonna have to re-up on ginger snap another time but i use this all the time all the time in combination with ginger snap then i got something that i will actually be trying for the first time i got the nyx lingerie liquid lipstick i was really excited about this as you guys could see earlier in the vlog because i just never got to try it before but this is in I think it's in Teddy. Yeah, it's in Teddy. And this is how it looks. It's a really bad swatch. Next, I got this NYX Liquid Crystal Body Liner. And I really needed a gold liner that's actually going to show on my eyes to do some looks. Because the one that I have from Ruby Kisses Be Playing. And I don't have time for that. I got this. But girl, I cannot open this for the life of me. I cannot open it. I'm about to run it under some hot water. It's like, I don't know they put this on here tight they weren't playing i cannot get it open anyway that's that the most exciting purchase though from ulta is what i'm about to show you you guys know i already ranted before about the revlon photo ready irs right i got one last year i used it in like three or four looks i used it for my birthday i know that you can use it for so much especially if you don't like to like work with glitter like that it makes it so easy and even the chrome side is really pretty also have 40% off on their Revlon Photo Ready IR. I only found out about that at the register. When I tell you I was like, um, hold up and went and got two more. I got these four. I got this one. It is in Steel Spark Midnight Glitz. I got two bright spring colors. And this teal one is Green Glimmer. And then the last one I'm actually going to be using in a look, a spring um, nighttime look. And actually someone that I follow here on YouTube, I talked about her in my last vlog, like towards the end. That's one of my pay it forward people. She's flawless. That is her name. She is flawless. And she got this and she used it. And I was like, ooh. This would be perfect for the look that I wanted to create. And it's called Lilac Luster. And the best part about this is that they were $5.39. $5.39, honey, my... Mm -hmm. $5.39. These things be pushing $9. I'm telling you. 
that's my Ulta haul. That was what I got when I was out with Susan. Just enough to support my beauty obsession. If you guys don't know this, I'm a shopaholic. I used to be way worse when my younger days, but I've calmed down a lot. And now I'm gonna show you guys the beauty items that I got from Walmart today. Just because I had to run a few errands and then I needed some essentials from Walmart. Okay, let's talk about this first. Um, let's do skincare first. Well, cotton rounds. These are the cotton rounds that I like to use. These are the big ones. The 60 count from Walmart. And they're a little abrasive, which I like as well. No, they're not too harsh, but just like a little bit. They're not like super, super soft. Next for skincare, I picked up my Holy Girl Foaming Facial Cleanser. I'm running out. I use this in the shower. I've been using this, as I said before, since high school. If I ever do a skincare video, this will probably be in it. And then I also picked up the astringent to go with it. This is my second time using this astringent. It's very, very strong. And I have sensitive dry skin. So sometimes it could be a little bit too overwhelming for me. But when I break out with a pimple that's like hard to get rid of, this works wonders. So I'm going to use this interchangeably with my sensitive skin astringent from Walmart. Lastly for skincare I got this Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser slash Mask. The Glam Twins if you guys watch them I watch them off and on but if you've watched them for a long time you know that they rave about this and I always wanted to get my hands on it but I never could and I saw it today and it was the last one so I was like why not let me let me try it. So yeah, you can use it as a cleanser or mask. They swear by it. They say it's really, really good. So I'm going to give it a shot. Now on to makeup. Only got a few things. I got two e.l.f. brushes. These were just a dollar each. I got the flat eyeliner brush, which I like to use for sealing under my eyebrows. I found that this works wonders. So I had to go pick up another one because it was bomb awesome. And then I got a blending eye brush because one of the ones that I have is like basically falling apart the hair is coming out and everything like that so I think it's time for that one to go and that's why I got another one and then I thought I had to go to Walmart to get this because my elf makeup mist and set spray is like finished it's been finished for like probably two months now and I haven't gotten and repurchased it so I saw it finally at Walmart it's never at Walmart I found it they have the um elf mist and set spray so I got it I have one more thing from elf yeah, one more thing from e.l.f. I got the Expert Liquid Eyeliner. I heard this is really good, so I just wanted to give it a shot. I haven't found like a liquid eyeliner that I really like yet, so I want to try this one out. It was only $2. The last two things I got with primers. I got this one from L'Oreal. This is the Magic Perfecting Base. And I got it because if you guys watch Makeup by Lon and or her name is Lania Maiden, she raves about this primer. She just got it like a few weeks ago and she says that she has not stopped putting it down. And I love watching her makeup videos and stuff like that. I feel like she's my, you know how people say my soul animal? I feel like she's my soul YouTuber because I feel like a lot of the things that I think to do or like products that I like. We have very similar tastes from it. Our personalities are really different, but I feel like when it comes to like makeup stuff, like I think along the same lines as her. And I've tried a few other things that she's recommended and I've really liked it so far. So I really wanted to try this, um, trying to see what's the best drugstore primer out there. And then lastly, I got a primer from Hard Candy. I really don't use Hard Candy products like that. I only have like one product from them that I like and it's the it's like the glowing bronzer like the liquid glow bronzer that you can use on your face and body I got it when I did the highlighter challenge last year but I really like it it's really awesome for putting under your foundation mixing with your foundation to give a nice glowy look so yeah that's the only thing I've tried from them but I've heard about this turn me matte drops they're supposed to be like um there's an illuminator one and then there's one more I can't remember what it is Maybe it's a bronzing one. I'm not sure, but I know the matte one and I've seen a video about it before and I was like, oh, let me try it. And then I can probably make a video on it to show you guys. So this is $6, so it wasn't that bad. And I'm really interested to see how it works. So yeah, that was my haul, guys. It wasn't too many products. Like I said, I wasn't really trying to spend a lot of money. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the rest of the vlog. Hi, Susie. Relative vlog. <laughs> Susan came over.
She's doing her score. This is gonna be the most I'm seeing. No score. That's on my work. Her work work. So I'm currently filming my shea butter concoction video for you guys. I look a little bit ratchet right now, but I'm currently pre pooing. Oh. <laughs> I'm currently pre-pooing my hair because I have to co-wash it because I'm trying to make a how I style my hair after wash day video, which this is what I would do if I was actually shampooing my hair as well. But I shampooed my hair like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago or something like that. So I just need to co-wash it right now and then um, detangle it and stuff like that and then do that video for you guys but I need to film this shea butter video first because I need my shea butter mixture for my hair so yeah but I worked out today starting back on my workout journey mm -hmm. Susan's supposed to go work out later tonight yep. Can't be co-sign to what she said hey guys what's up so I am actually, well, let me tell you guys the date first. It is March 31st, it's a Friday. The kids are about to be on spring break. So today I'm gonna to be taking them to the movies. I just, I didn't film this makeup look. I was about to say I just filmed this makeup look. No, I didn't. I'm testing out a new foundation. I was supposed to film two videos, an eyebrow routine and a hair video, but honey child, that was not working out and I have to go. I have to pick up my brother first to um, get him from school. And like, no, it just wasn't working out. So I was like, all right, well, let me just test out this foundation. And can you guys guess what foundation it is? It actually looks decent on my face. I think I made it work. I think I made it pop. But can you guys guess what foundation it is? I'm not gonna tell you guys because I'm, I'm not gonna be doing a foundation review because I think it's a little oversaturated on the YouTube community right now, but I am going to be doing a one brand tutorial using it. So yeah, leave me a comment down below if you guys can guess what foundation I'm testing out today. A foundation and concealer. Just guess. Just guess. Just let me know. Okay? I'm probably going to post that video after this vlog so that way I don't ruin it and you guys can make a legitimate guess but I'm going to be taking the kids to see the movie Get Out. I've already seen it. If you haven't watched it it's probably not gonna be in theaters by the time I put up this vlog but you need to catch it on like DVD, on Redbox, on something. It was a really good movie. It will make you think which I feel a lot of our generation needs to be doing nowadays but Noel really wanted to see it so I told him like a few weeks ago I'm like okay I'll take you to go see it but then he got sick and he couldn't go anymore so we rescheduled for today's kind of like spur of the moment and Nicholas is going to join us even though he's acting like a little pansy right now um but yeah I <laughs> For the hair video, I'm supposed to be using Marley hair, and I have like a whole fresh pack of Marley hair that I had in my hair box, but I also had like Marley hair in like a bag that I usually use for the type of hairstyles that I'm going to be doing for this video. And honey child, I thought Marley hair was in this like a Ziploc bag. I was so wrong. It was this wig, and I was not about to pull out my container to put that in my head so I was like let me make this wig work because I don't know if you guys have seen that video it's like one of my first few videos I made was making this crochet wig I need to get back on crochet wigs I'm probably going to be doing that for this summer and showing you guys some crochet wigs because I used to make those those are what I used to wear before I used to be buying half wigs so I need to wait some more for you guys and for myself obviously because summer's coming I'm into like short hairstyles for that too so yeah I had to revamp it a little bit I cut it some because it was just it, it was not it was not looking good so I try to make it work I think I think it looks all right it's good for the summer I feel hopefully you know I can still make it work and make it last but it is coming to the end of its end of its days soon let's just say that y'all just just scroll through my channel and if you haven't seen something just go watch it all right just, just go watch it and you're probably gonna see the brats next but I'll catch you on the other side. Wait, where do you know it's, it's recorded. Go turn off. Cops on 11 and a half in the shoe. 
and I don't get it tomorrow, you guys are gonna get jumped for your shoes. Whatever, Nicholas. Who are you gonna jump? See these hands? See what hands? I should make you some games. Games? <laughs> no one else said what games? <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Hey, me, little boy. Pay a dollar a day. Donate. <laughs> Help Sabrina get an ox cord. He's always when he come in my car. My ox cord broke like a few weeks ago, and he always when he come in my car, he's like, "You got a GoFundMe for your ox cord yet?" Chase a check, never chase a check. Two cups, cause that's what it does. So a whole nother you make. Hey, hey, hey. Got a family to feed. Got a family to feed. It depending on me. Depending on me. If you don't believe me. <laughs> Why you so shy? trying to see if my ox core is working. Why is it working for every y'all stuff? Bro. <laughs> Yo, that ox core is playing me, yeah. bro. Your ox core hates you. <laughs> Cause you know you be playing that trash. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, what uh, you thought I'm about the movie? Right <laughs> He's scarred for life, bro. Right. I'm sorry. I love you white girls, but no white. It wasn't really for Um. Uh, what you think? I just had those like predictable jumps. Uh, jumps. No, there was, but the storyline wasn't as predictable as you thought it was gonna be, right? Uh, Albert, oh, no, no, Albert, no, 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 no. right, no, no. No, I knew, I knew uh, that he got hypnotized by the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna say something for my vlog? It was Tell crazy. I, was I, I, I didn't see it coming. It was crazy. See. That was all it was. This you don't know me, bike. This bike think you know me? Huh? How freaking mean to you? I don't like your face. The children want food, so I stopped by so Noel can get Popeyes. I can't be eating that. And Nicholas want Chinese food. I'm being nice since they waiting on me. Be nice. You should buy my Chinese. Food. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Yeah. You know, oh, that's funny. Being nice. <laughs> It's a gag. Wait, so what you were saying? So, so I'm also <laughs> become a fancy YouTuber and she move to California. She don't know anybody, bro. She don't just go in an apartment and be by herself. She gonna leave me, Noel, Albert, Andre, Grandma, everybody. She don't leave her own friends, bro. She <laughs> some people in California, bro. Be like, um, YouTube life. And she's gonna do YouTube videos. She's probably gonna turn lesbian. Where they're gonna? And she's never gonna <laughs> talk this again. This <laughs> Anybody who's gay, but I'm just saying. Usually, when you go to California, things happen to you. Yo, who's putting this into these kids' heads? Am I? I need a haircut, bro. Can't wait till I get one, though. Are you mad because you don't have a hairline? <laughs> what? I have a hairline. I'm not got edges. <laughs> my edge is better than yours. No, my edge is better than yours. No, they're not. My edge is better than yours. My edges are lame. My edges are defined. My edges are nasty. Is that even your hair? Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, is that even your hair? But I got here though. Yeah, under, 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 yeah, under, 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 no, under, 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 under. See these kids be trying my life, bruh. I can't stand y'all. But then I love you at the same time. I told Nicholas when we, when are we all gonna go on a road I'm not trip? Going on no road he talking about some when he started driving because they're taking their they're taking their driver's lessons um next week, guys. Bro, crying. Let me tell you, he was crying in the shut movie up, like a little baby, up. bro. He was, I was so not scared. crying in the morning. You were crying. Ember, Ember, you were bro. crying. You were crying. Right, right now, bro. Stop talking like that. Talk like you have sense. Like you have intelligence. Not make your face look like that. You look like an old man. Wow! <laughs> like yeah, like, take the vlog camera off and you see what happens. Catch me outside, bro. How about that? Them nap naps. I was worried before when his hair was lower. I would touch him. Like, you messing up my ways, bro. You messing up my ways. <laughs> you love me. You always. That's why you always get mad when you think I'm gonna be moving away. Just right, and when the camera come off, he'd be like, you ain't moving nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Hey guys, right now it's pretty late. I'll probably write the date down below. It's like almost 9.30 and I'm headed to go to dinner. It's like an impromptu dinner with some of my family. Basically, my aunt, the twin's mom, her birthday is this weekend. It's Thursday right now. Her birthday's on Sunday, but they want to just all of a sudden go to eat a red lobster. And Nicholas called me and was like, hey, we're having an impromptu dinner for my mom's birthday. 
and they wanted me to come at first I wasn't gonna come but you know it's my aunt's birthday so I think they're already seated so I'll try to film something tell them tell the camera what you get 84 on your on their driving test today not oh wait they're in driver's ed right now not their actual driving test yeah now I can get my license well go now I can take the road test you, you haven't even driven with that with that no 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 with that you can take the road test no that's what you do to get the road test you have to do 30 hours of job that's all? I mean, I don't have anything else to say. What about me? Hi. To all you viewers out there who play Pokemon, I was playing Pokemon Moon today, and I ran into a shiny Pelipper. <laughs> say hello, birthday woman. Hello. How are you? It's, a it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Take that off. Do not put that on. Say hi, it's mom. It's not your birthday, mom. Yes, my sister celebrates with me. <laughs> okay. How are you? Since so she was in January, I guess she, she celebrates twice. No, okay. she celebrates my birthday with me. Look at that. Oh. I cleaned my rings. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh. You fancy. Oh, somebody don't put that on this. Can you bring me an come rob you? Uh, my brother and I, my twin and I, we both got 84s on the uh, the the test we had to take for uh, taking the, the driving classes. So and then we didn't even sit next to each other. We didn't cheat or anything. So you know, that's that twin telepathy. Yeah, I gave him the answers. He gave me the answers. Really, really, you were humming it to him the whole time. Just like, <laughs> the fact that you both got 84s. What did she just say? She says, because y'all twins, y'all not even you know, identical. You need a hundred. Korean <laughs> <Right. laughs> people? She said you should have got a hundred. Yes, I'm not 84. Oh, yeah, that test was hard. Anyway, I'm with my family oh, now, guys. Made it. Oh, I guess my mom gave me her strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> I took my food to go because I told you guys I was eating a little bit of something before I came. So I'm not really hungry. So I just got some food to go eat it tomorrow. Well, that way I don't have to cook nothing. I had put out something to cook too, but I got home so late, I wasn't gonna cook anymore. I just had salad and nuggets, and then, huh? and then they called me for this. So, what do you want? You want some of this? You want the strawberry? You got the strawberry. I don't care. Anyway, how are you guys doing? What y'all doing today? Tell them, tell the camera what you made. A ramen, what's it called? I made a ramen called the Cauldron in the Cauldron Junior. Which is basically um, a rum bowl filled with hot sauce, ramen, black man. pepper, and crushed Celery. pepper, Celery. and oh, jerk. Yeah. And, and the thing is, Albert, Albert, when he was younger, he used to, he used to be allergic to like hot foods and like pepper stuff. He used to get burned around his mouth when he would eat things that were too spicy for him. So then Noel said, "It sound like what?" <laughs> It sounds like diabetes, heart attack, uh, heartburn. Um, it just sounds like all that because I know when I eat ramen, I kind of feel like heartburn and stuff. So adding hot sauce and all that just make, uh, making it worse and jerk. It was funnier, guys, when he had first said it because he was like, that sounds like heartburn, heart attack <laughs> in a bowl. <laughs> I'm diabetes. I'm diabetes in a bowl. Do you enjoy your food? Yeah. This is what they're eating. You know, you should be This is what I'm eating. <laughs> My food is to go. What? You don't want people to see, see your food? <laughs> yeah. What you think? What you think? Vlogging is life. Vlogging. What? Vlogging is life? Vlogging is life. Too intrusive. I didn't know if I was gonna come back on the camera and say anything else. I got home like a little while ago, but I told you guys I had a really long day. So I really have just been like sitting down watching YouTube. Don't mind my hair right now. I need to put on my bonnet and I cut my nails. Um, I'm gonna try to film tomorrow because I haven't filmed all week at all. I've just been handling business. So my nails were breaking and I was like, you know, let me just go ahead and cut these off because I want to film some prom tutorials, but I think I'm going to do that next week because I have to do someone's makeup this weekend and I don't want to put on my fake nails for when I have to do their makeup. So I think I'm just going to film my film, um, losing my train of thought. I think I'm just going to film my Coachella Music Festival type looks 
tomorrow. I'm like actually sitting down watching YouTube stuff though on my TV right now. And I haven't like, I watch YouTube stuff, but sometimes I do that when like I'm working and whatever, not like, or when I'm trying to like do research and stuff like that. But right now I'm actually just really sitting down just watching and enjoying YouTube videos. I haven't done that in a long time. I actually just finished watching this vlog by Ty Lee. She's a YouTuber. And I just finished watching her birthday vlog. Oh my gosh. Her and her boyfriend are so freaking funny. Like, I was literally dying laughing. It reminds me of my boyfriend, just that, you know, he's not on camera like that. But so funny. So funny. It was so good. So I'm about to watch um, Tierra Walker's video. So I just had to mute this because I usually don't watch her chit chat videos. This is one of her chit chat videos. This is one of her like, shorter videos. I'm like a short video kind of person. But do you see her quality of her like video? So I filmed with the Canon T6i and I think I need to like sit down and watch some YouTube videos on how to use it properly. I've been figuring it out, but I need my quality to get like this cause her quality is just really, really good. And, and oh my gosh, Ooh, YouTube struggles. Hey everyone. So welcome to the end of the video if you're wondering why I look like I just came out of a flower field. It's because I just finished filming my last Coachella look for this year or music festival look, whatever you want to call it. So definitely head on over there and check that out if you haven't watched it yet. But yeah, I just want to end up the video like I am trying to end up all vlogs now for this year by paying it forward. I have two people to show to you today. That was actually four, right? Two. And one person is one of my fellow subscribers. Another person I'm just subscribed to on YouTube. They're both makeup people, makeup influencers on YouTube. So make sure to check their channels out. As usual, I'm going to put up some screenshot of their page when I'm talking about them so that you guys can know who I'm talking about and go and check them out. The first person that I have for you today is one of my YouTube friends. Her name is Modestly Q on YouTube. She is a makeup artist and we became friends over like the last few months and she's amazing. You guys should definitely show her channel some love. I love watching her videos. I watch almost every one of her makeup videos. She does awesome cut creases and hopefully we'll get to work together in the future as well. But you guys should definitely go and check her out and let her know Sabrina sent you, okay? Go, go, as soon as this video is over, go check her page out as soon as this video is over, okay? The other person who I have to share with you guys today, her name is Savannah Silver. Now she doesn't post as many makeup videos anymore but just check out her old content. If you like makeup, she is awesome. She's bomb awesome. She's Jamaican and she lives in Japan. Reminds me of my cousin living in Japan right now, but her videos are so good. All her looks are always so pretty. I probably started watching her like a year or two ago. She's awesome. Definitely go and check her channel out if you like makeup and bright looks and stuff like that. Her quality is always awesome as well. So yeah, those are the two people who I have to share with you guys today. So yeah, I hope you guys like this vlog. Not too much went on, but I hope you guys liked it anyway, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Bye.